All right, so we are going to start with uh, the RNA sequencing analysis. But before that, we need to um, get a data set on which we are going to work. So that data set is the airway data set. It is a, a summarized experiment object. Uh, that's what they call it in R. And you can get it. Uh, you can go to you can you can go to Google and you can search for airway uh, airway package for R. And you can click on the first link and you're you're gonna land over here. So airway is a part of the bioconductor package, and you need to install this first. We have a little bit of description over here. It is for RNA seq in airway smooth muscle cells. And if you go down over here. Uh, in the installation section what do you need to do you need to copy this command go back to your R studio and you had to paste it over here and then you know you can run it and it would be installed in your system now once that is done you need to come back to the script call the package that you had just installed the airway package to write library and in brackets airway and you need to hit command enter after that now the airway package is in your working environment and you can work with it now since we're doing rna seq analysis we're going to use a uh, we're going to use another package from the bioconductor uh, packages this is called dsec2 so again you can go to google and type in dsec2 and the link uh, the first link that you get would take you here and again you need to go down to the installation part where you're going to copy this part and again you need to come back to our studio paste it over here in your console and you know you can install the dsec2 and once you install it you, you need to again call the dsec2 inside your uh, working environment library dsec2 and Go to the end and hit command enter. Now you have your dsec2 inside your environment loaded. And one more package that we're gonna use is tidyverse. So tidyverse is a collection of packages uh, where you have the four cats, the uh, ggplot2, and also some operators like the pipe operators. So we're gonna use the tidyverse as well. So again, library tidyverse and you can and you hit command enter so we're going to work with these three packages so the first things first we are going to prepare the data that we want just just for a quick view we are going to say data airway and um, we're going to load the airway data you can see it over here you can click it and this is what is inside the airway data set so the 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 two things that we are interested in is the call data and the assay so we're going to work with this uh, we're going to work with this data set and specifically these two things all right so um next what we want to do is um whatever the call data is whatever whatever we have inside call data we're going to use that and we're going to make a data frame out of it so that it's easy to visualize the whole thing so to do that um, to create a data frame we write as dot data dot frame and inside this we are going to say call data and remember you need to specify the d as capital uh, because that's how it is over here and inside this we're going to put in the uh, put in the uh, put in the data set that we have so after this if i hit command enter you can see the table looks like this uh, it has taken the column names and it has put them in a in a table format so now once we have that uh, what, what, what i'm going to do is Whenever we call this, we need to write this whole thing, the whole data frame. So we're not going to do that. We are going to put this inside a variable so that we can only call the variable and the whole thing comes along with it. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say sample underscore info. 
So this is basically what we're doing is we're creating a design file for the RNA-seq analysis. All these things are going to be clear when we actually use the DSEQ2 to, to analyze the RNA-seq. For, for right now, we need two files. One is the design file that we need to create and one is the counts data that we need to create. Counts data is the, the read lengths that are there for each of the genes. Now, once this is done, I'm going to hit command enter once more so that this line loads and you're going to see a sample info over here. So this is a sample info. If you open this, it's going to be same as this. Let me just show, show it to you. Open this is exactly what we have over here. Now it has been put into an object and loaded onto your R environment. All right. So that being said, now we can start preparing the file. So uh, the the one that we the one that we made so sample underscore info and I'm gonna pipe this. So this is the pipe operator which comes from the tidyverse, and what it does is whatever whatever command or whatever function that we put uh, after the pipe operator, the first argument of that function would be whatever is on the left of the operator. I'm gonna select. So what I need from this is the, the, the cell column and the dex column. So cell basically refers to the cell line and dex is dexamethasone, whether it is treated with dexamethasone or untreated. So UNTRT is untreated, TRT is treated. So we need these two columns along with these. So I'm going to select the second and the third row. So if you wouldn't have used the pipe operator over here, I would have written sample underscore info, then com comma, and then I would have written uh, the next argument. So this is the this is the data frame that I'm taking it from. So once we're using the pipe operator, we don't need to write this because it automatically takes the first argument as whatever is on the left of the pipe. So now once we do that, and I hit command enter after this, you can see over here, we have those two uh, filtered out. And next, I want to change the name of the column uh, to cell line and the other one to dexamethasone. So the, the, full, the full names so that I can work with it properly. So to do that, again, I'm gonna pipe whatever I made now. So this whole thing, I'm gonna pipe it into a command called set names and inside set names uh, I need to put a concatenation so the concatenation will contain the first one as cell line and the second one as uh, dexamethasone right so now if I hit command enter you can see it has changed to cell line and dexamethasone right next the next thing that i want to do is for untreated i want to change this to the full word untreated right now it is abbreviated both the treated and the untreated so i'm going to change that so the function that i'm going to use is mutate and this is one of my favorite functions you can do a lot a lot with this so the first thing that you need to give in is the column that you want to change dexamethasone and you can even add columns with this or you can change existing columns with this so dexamethasone i'm going to use an equal to now what i want to do is i want to recode the factors so these are called factors so we have two factors untreated and treated i want to recode them so fct for factor underscore recode factor recode and again i'm going to specify the name of the column and give a comma and write out what i want to change the specific uh, factors with the specific lab levels with so in r the the tradition is to write the new name first and equal to followed by the old name let me show you so what i would write is treated equals to trt and not the other way around okay so the new one always comes 
uh, at the beginning when you are changing something when you are assigning something rather so the next one is untreated equals untrt and if i do this go and hit command enter you can see this is changed to untreated and treated right so right now i have the table that i need for the design all right so experimental design or the design file can now be saved as a csv for that again pipe this whole thing and we're going to make a csv file out of this to do that i'm going to write write dot table and inside this the first thing that goes in is the file name so file equals to i'm going to say sample underscore info i'm trying to keep the name same so that you know i don't get confused when i'm doing the rna uh, analysis dot csv so this is very important to specify the uh, format of the file and then i'm going to put a separator so separator is like since it's a csv so i'm going to put a comma as separator comma and apart from that i will put the column names equals to true so whatever column names are over here just take in that and row names equals true as well so all, all these arguments you need to put with a comma finally there is another argument called quote in this you don't need to worry about this just 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 set it to false that's it all right so now if i if i select this and hit command enter this is going to create a file but the directory in which the file is going to be created that is not set so first what i would do i would set the directory by going to files and i think it is set or you know just to cross check it i'm going to set it so i have a folder called rna seek r script which i'm working right now so over here i'm gonna go to more and use set as working directory or if you want to write the code you can write it like this set wd and inside the brackets into specify the full path so i don't like to do it like this because you know if you make a mistake over here then it will be a mess so you can just go to file and find your directory and make it a working directory so now the working directory is set now if i select all of this and hit command enter i will have a csv file with the name of sample underscore info which is going to contain all my design for the rna seq experiment so this is exactly what is there inside the sample.info the next thing that we want to do let me specify it over here i'll just put a comment uh, preparation of the design file and next is preparation of the counts data set similarly we can do the counts data set so for the counts data set like i said i want the assay this one i want this to be you know this to be incorporated in my counts data set because this contains the read counts so for that it is similar to that of this so i'm not gonna again write it i'm just gonna copy paste the code snippet which i already have so what i'm doing is i'm just pulling out the assay of the airway package uh, airway data set and i'm piping this into you know this write.table so that it creates a csv file again so this is exactly the same what we wrote over here so you can write the exact same code and just change the name to counts underscore data dot csv and you can put this inside a variable which i've named counts data and now if you just copy all of this uh, i mean select all of this and hit command enter you are going to get another file counts data 
So with this, a design for the experiment as well as the read counts data that is um, that is prepared. And all right, if you if we cannot see the counts data over here, we can we can go to the file, I guess. Yeah, we can go to the file and see the counts data right here. Um, well, this is this is the folder in which I'm working. Um, so this is the counts data. You have the read counts over here, and if I go to the sample info, so this is the sample info. Don't worry about this. The cell line is on top of this row. It should be on top of this row. Decimal is on on top of this row. It should be shifted over here. Don't worry about this when we pull it into our. It's going to be. It, it, it's going to be what we have over here. It's going to come over here and dexamethasone is going to be shifted over here so you don't need to worry about that well now we are prepped for you know hitting the d 2 package and doing our analysis with the transcriptomics data and i'll see you in the next one